Well, my name is David Foster, and this is my dad, Gary. And uh, we still own and operate a dairy farm in southeast Kansas. Uh, the idea for, for TerraCat came about because on our operation, we were uh, always using manure spreaders uh, to handle our nutrient waste uh, uh, along with the dairy cattle. And, uh, you know, we had seen what worked for us and what did not. And we also knew that things just simply wear out. And so uh, dad said it was about time for us to look for getting something because uh, we weren't able to keep our older manure spreaders together. And so I started doing some hunting. And as I started doing some research and trying to find some other manure spreaders, um, I was very shocked at uh, how much it seemed to cost for a brand new manure spreader uh, that was in essence a box, uh, a chain, and some kind of beater system on the rear end. And so because of those costs, um, uh, I started hunting and searching and I wasn't finding what I wanted uh, in the American market, I started looking uh, internationally. And so uh, we also felt like uh, a vertical beater system would better serve uh, and that's the way that the industry was going is because they're known for uh, doing a better job of spreading manure. Uh, they have a better spread pattern, more uniform. So uh, anyway, uh, that's kind of how TerraCat came to be, um, is because of our experience on the dairy. Um, and the other thing was, is uh, I purposely kept the pricing on the TerraCat manure spreader uh, down at a lower price because not only did I want to just be competitive, but to me, it was more of I wanted to be able to sell to my own fellow farmers and ranchers, not just being a manufacturer that has these inflated uh, margins uh, to work with, but to also uh, know that uh, that end user, uh, that other farmer and rancher that's like myself, uh, is getting a good deal and they were happy with their product, happy with their service, and uh, that would lead to word of mouth and ultimately more sales. So my business model as and will continue to be more along the lines of volume versus uh, huge margins on uh, lower quantity. And we've had more than our <laughs> more than our amount of experience fixing gro broken up manure spreaders. So we knew what to look for what broke down with the ones that we've had before. So as we were designing this one, we made all the changes for the problems that we've had in the past so that what we would come up with would be a better spreader than what we were accustomed to. And we're constantly still making changes if we see something that can be changed to make it a better spreader so that there's less downtime and uh, more longevity. That's probably one of the best things about uh, myself versus maybe some of the other manufacturers is that uh, we are willing to take feedback. In fact, we encourage it uh, to give us feedback of any types of things that they would like to change about these units to make them better. So I'm constantly, I've got a list of things even right now that is already on slate uh, to be uh, improved, uh, changed, uh, features to be added, and all of that. So we're constantly working to make it a better product.